experts in the cotton industry from around the world have met with Ghanaian cotton farmers and other stakeholders to deliberate on how to improve upon Ghana's cotton production. The workshop, which is being organized by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, is in line with the government's vision to increase the income of rural households in the three regions of the north. Ghana's cotton industry since 1980 has experienced a gradual decline compared to other West African countries. Ghana contributes less than 1% of the total cotton production in the sub-region, even though she has the capacity to produce more, like Nigeria and Burkina Faso. Issues identified by experts as contributory factors to the low performance in the industry include absence of a regulatory framework ensuring grading according to international standards, fair price setting, low yields due to inadequate use of inputs, and low level of mechanization hampering overall production. There is also lack of coordination among input providers, farmers, and traders. However, scientists and agriculturists have now come up with new technologies to increase yields. In view of this, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, is holding a two-day workshop which started today on improving the competitiveness of the cotton sector in Ghana. UNIDO will help Ghana adapt new cotton varieties developed through biotechnology to fight insect pest damage. Representatives from India, America and Burkina Faso who are already using these new technologies will be sharing their experience with Ghana. The Unidia representative to Ghana and Togo, Mr. Frank Van Rompuy, said Ghanaian cotton farmers should take advantage of this project to improve their livelihoods. This workshop is an opportunity to critically review options for cotton productivity enhancement suitable for the Ghanaian context, particularly the type of cotton production system to be favored in Ghana, and to review options to deal with other challenges for the development of the sector such as cotton grading and classing by product utilization. The Minister for Environment, Science and Technology, Madame Sherry Aite, is optimistic that the introduction of safe biotechnology will help boost cotton production in the country. That modern biotechnology holds the key to solving this problem. Insect tolerant cotton varieties developed with a gene from the common soil born bacterium are able to produce an insectidal protein, making it very difficult to insect pest damage. The workshop is in collaboration with the Ministries of Food and Agriculture, Trade and Industry, and Environment, Science and Technology.